Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Patrick Boyle. Um, if this is the first video you're watching, do hit the subscribe button. Um, in this video, we're going to learn all about options margin, uh, who pays it and why, and uh, how it changes over the life of an option. Okay, so let's get, uh, get into it. So the first thing we're going to talk about is options margin and what is it. So options margin is a bit like, I did a video a little bit earlier on futures margin, which you may have seen. And in that video, we explained how buyers and sellers of futures have to put up a certain amount of money that we call margin. And that's put up at the clearing house in order to make sure that the, uh, the, both the buyer and the seller of, of the future are able to meet their financial obligations uh, should the market move against them. Now, similarly with options, we have a clearing house and we have a margin requirement. Now, it's worth noting that options margin is quite a bit different to futures margin simply because uh, only one side of the transaction has to put up margin. So let's talk about why that might be. Well, with, with an option, we'll say a call option, the buyer of a call option pays an amount of money we call the option premium, and that gives them the right but not the obligation to uh, either buy or sell the underlying, depending on if it's a call or a put option, uh, at the expiration date. Now, the most that the buyer of an option can lose is the amount of money that they spent on premium. And they pay that up front when they buy the option, right? That's the first thing they do. They buy the option, they pay the premium. They can't actually lose more than that. So it's not reasonable to ask them to post any additional margin simply because they've already put up an amount of money that is their maximum loss, right? So for the buyer of an option, be it a put option or a call option, they just uh, pay the premium and that's all they have to pay. There's no additional margin. Now for sellers of these options, the problem is that if you sell an option, you can actually lose more money uh, than, than the amount of premium that you received. And so you have to put up an additional amount of money. So the seller of a put or a call option will have to put up money um, that, that is there uh, to show that they're able to meet their obligation should that option be exercised. Now the next thing that we should talk about is the idea of hedged or naked option sellers. Now if you're selling an option, you might already have a position, an offsetting position in the underlying. You might be a hedger who is selling an option. And if you're doing that, we'll say for example, if you own the underlying and you've sold a call option, even though the price of the underlying can go up and up and up, and that will lose you money on your short call option, the amount you're losing on the option, you'll be making on being long the underlying. And so that's what we call a covered position. And if you have a covered position like that, uh, your, your margin requirement will be significantly lower than if you are a naked option seller. Now, what we mean when we say a naked option seller is someone who has sold an option and they don't have an offsetting position in the underlying. So in a situation like that, uh, where their losses are potentially unlimited, they're going to have to show that they're able to meet their obligations. So they're going to have to put up margin, and should the price move against them, they're going to have to increase the amount of margin. So there's an initial margin requirement, which is the amount that you're required to put up in order to sell the option at all to begin with. And then there's what's called maintenance margin, which is the minimum level. You have to keep your account at the minimum amount of margin that you must keep in your account. If you fall below that level, you get what's called a margin call, which is a phone call from your broker telling you that you need to wire in money right away in order to meet the, the maintenance margin level. Now, if you don't do that, uh, you, you will be knocked out of your position. Basically, the, the broker will, will buy back that option at the market and you will uh, sustain whatever loss uh, occurs based upon that transaction. And so, um, 
usually, but when I said that you have to send the money in, you usually have to wire the money in for that day's settlement. You don't get a day or two, you can't post them a cheque, right? You have to get the money in before the market closes that day, otherwise you're, you're out of your, your position. And so, um, so anyhow, that is options margin. It's an amount of money that a trader, either the, you, just the seller of either put or call options, has to put up in order to, uh, in order to uh, be in the position. Now, that will change based upon changing market conditions. The, the exchanges have a formula. They don't actually disclose what the formula is, but they have a formula that they use to calculate the margin for various options. And it changes on a daily basis, that the, the margin requirement changes on a daily basis. And so, for example, if the market gets more volatile, that means that you'll have to put up more margin. So even if the, we'll say if the underlying moved around but ended up right where it started, but the market is now, that implied volatility in the market is higher, you will be required to post additional margin in order just to stay in that position. So margin is there really to, uh, you know, to protect the, the boat, both sides really of the, the contract to make sure that these contracts all get paid off and to protect the brokers and so on. And so that is options margin. If you found this video useful, please do subscribe, do hit the like button. And if you'd like to learn more, uh, I do have a book that I've written on this topic called Trading and Pricing Financial Derivatives. And there is a link to that book in the, uh, in the description below. Have a great day and talk to you later. Bye.